Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Old Final Rhino Beer Review. Today, of the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. The beer is back behind me. It's from St. John's, Newfoundland. It's Aloha Sour India Pale Ale. It's six percent alcohol, and it is brewed by Kitty Vitty. Now, usually, they, oh, there it is, right there. Aloha from the tropical island of Newfoundland. Now, that's fucking funny. At the furthest edge of civilization, a lush paradise awaits. Full of strange birds and exotic mysteries, even time runs differently here. It's a place to savor the extraordinary. Uh, take this sour IPA, for example. It's so refreshing as a tr it's as refreshing as a tropical breeze, and as welcoming as aloha. It's Hawaiian for what are you at? Uh, and. That makes me laugh. I took a picture of that so I can send it to my buddy um, because he's from Newfoundland and he's the one that picked this up. Okay, now I usually am a fan of sour IPAs, but a lot of them lately have been pretty, pretty comparable. Like, uh, there is one sour IPA I really love, and most sour IPAs I've had since then have been quite akin to that. So, did not expect that much haze to be honest, but it is hazy. It's almost like a kind of like a burnt orange color. The head was slightly off white, it's faded pretty quickly. Not much snap, crackle, pop. Again, hard to hear over the furnace behind me. Scent out of the can. Okay, out of the can, it really smells like a normal IPA. There's tropical fruit, there's a little bit of pininess, there's a little bit of. Uh, it, it smells like your average IPA out of the can. Out of the glass? Okay, so the glass has that clementine, um, mandarin, nectarine. It has those fruity scents, but it has an, a little bit of stone fruit, but again, over ripened, slightly sour stone fruits. I really like the smell out of the glass. I'm not a big fan of the smell out of the can. Slanche, let's go. Um, it's nice. It does have a taste reminiscent of my favorite sour IPA, Nectorious. <laughs> Nectorious. But, not as good as Nectorious. A lot of sour IPAs I have are quite akin to on par or sometimes slightly better than Nectorious. Just Nectorious was so drinkable. Um, this one's below Nectorious, but it's still good. Light carbonation, light mouthfeel, a biscuity readiness at the back end that's mixed with a sourness. A lot of fruitiness, nectarine, tangerine, clementine, peach, all there, all bitter, all sour. Uh, so like, it's, it's almost like I took a nectarine, I bit it, it was a super sour nectarine, I'm getting the tannic from the skin. I took the tangerine and the clementine and just, oh, I'm getting the bitter bite from the skin. Uh, the peach, again, the same type of thing. You bit into the peach. It was sour. The skin was more tannic than you'd expect. Um, and also, almost like some grapefruit in there. Lots of nice fruits. Lots of tropical fruits and regular stone fruits. Just both a sour note and a bitter note. And it... it, it is nice. It's a very nice, easy drinking beer. Like, watch. See, we can go. Cheers. And there was nothing wrong with that. So, Nectorius got a great mark. Most sour IPAs get a pretty damn good mark from me. This one's a little lower, but still a solid beer. This is getting an 8.25 out of 10. This was a solid, solid beer. Thanks, guys. Bye.